Well, I, I think the one thing that I would tell people, uh, well, I guess there's, there's two ways. I would tell people who are in New Orleans to be patient. Uh, people who are here who may be considering uh, leaving because of the issues. I have several friends that, that are looking um, with younger kids than, than mine that are looking to move to neighboring parishes. They live in the city now, but they, they're looking to neighboring parishes to raise their families because it's safer and the schools are better. And to them, I'd say, hold on, just be patient. Um, we do have an opportunity to continue making New Orleans better. And I think over time, um, when leadership does step up, and again, not just elected leaders, but those community leaders that are not elected, uh, I think things will progressively get better. It just takes a while and it feels like it's taking long. To those people who don't live in New Orleans that may visit on a regular basis or have some family members here to them, I'd say um, we need you, no matter where you are, to continue to talk about New Orleans and the things that, that are going well. And also be honest about some of the things that they, they see that's not going well, because we have to understand all aspects of the problems uh, of our strengths and our weaknesses to really uh, fix the city. And to tell them that one day, you know, we want to make New Orleans a city where those people who've left really will come back home. I have some family members that would love to come back, but they tell me the same thing. The quality of life is not where I need it for me to come back and le leave where I am right now. Atlanta, New York, Washington, D.C., they'd love to come back home. They're here every weekend anyway. But we have to give them a long term uh, sustainable plan and reason for them to reinvest and move their families here. So to them, I'd say as well, be patient. We're fixing it.